हेलो एवरीवन अगेन यू आर वेलकम टू साइंस पर्कल साइंस पर्कल प्रेजेंट्स सीबीएसई क्लास टेंथ मैथमेटिक्स एक्टिविटी नंबर वन दैट इज पेयर ऑफ लिनियर इक्वेशंस इन टू वेरिएबल्स सो द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस एक्टिविटी इज टू ऑप्टेन द कंडीशंस फॉर कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ ए सिस्टम ऑफ लिनियर इक्वेशंस इन टू वेरिएबल्स बाय ग्राफिकल मेथड सो फॉर दैट सो रिक्वायरमेंट्स ग्राफ पेपर योर रूलर एंड पेंसिल एंड फॉर नॉलेज required that is plotting of a points on a graph paper that means you have to know about the coordinate geometry okay for this the procedure so first of all you have to know about the pair of a linear equation the general form of a pair of a linear equations are a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 a2x plus b2y Plus c2 equal to zero. So we have to take a pair of linear equations in two variables. For example, here we have taken so 2x minus 3y minus 3 equal to zero. And second equation 3x minus 4y minus 5 equal to zero. So here you can get a1 equal to 2, a2 equal to 3. B1 equal to minus 3, B2 equal to minus 4, C1 equal to minus 3, and C2 equal to minus 5. I obtain a table of order pairs which satisfy the given equation and find at least three such pairs for each equation. Here, for first equation, 2x minus 3y. Equal to three or two x minus three y equal minus three equal to zero. So you will find the value of x like three uh, y will be equal to two x minus three and y will be equal to two x minus three whole divided by three. So from there you will put the value of x like when it is put zero you will get the value of y equal to minus one. The same way we got. Three order pairs like zero minus one, three one, and six three. Value of x is six, and value of y equal to three. So that is three order pairs we got from the first equation, two x minus three y equal to three. And for three x minus four y equal to four five. So same way you will find four y equal to three x minus five. And y equal to 3x minus 5 whole divided by 4. And when you will put the value of x equal to minus 1, you will get the value of y is minus 2. And when you will put the value of x is minus 5, you will get the value of y equal to minus 5. And when you will put the value of x is minus 7, you will get the value of y equal to 4. So and now. You have to plot the points or order pairs in a graph paper. Just to see the graph. So here, first of all, you will draw x-axis, y-axis, x-x dash and y-axis, uh, y-y dash. They are perpendicular with each other, and you will write the scale in both axes. Each ten small division equal to one unit. And you will write in the both x, x dash and y, y dash. You will write the numbers like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in the left hand side, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, like this. And then you have to plot the graph by locating the points first in the order pairs you will locate like from equation 1 we have 0 minus 1 is plotted and 3 1 it is in the red pen okay it is red color which 3 1 is plotted and 6 3 that is also plotted and the three lines three points are joined and that is a straight line 
and the name of the equation is written 2x minus 3y equal to 3. This is the first equation. Again, the second equation, so the order pairs like minus 5, minus 5, minus 1, minus 2, and 7, 4. So, these three lines are joined and that is a straight line it is done and the equation is written 3x minus 4y equal to 5. Now, we got the pair of linear equation, their graphs, they intersected at one point. So, that is the solution. Now, so you have to observe. So, here it is observed if the lines they are intersecting or parallel or coincident you have to note a you have to find a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 okay you see the same way here from a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 from the equation you have to find and in the second equation you will take another pair of linear equation you will take in two variables that is cx plus 10y minus 4 equal to 0 3x plus 5y plus 11 equal to 0 here you can get a, a1 by a2 equal to 6 by 3 b1 by b2 equal to 10 by 5 and minus 4 by 11 equal to minus 4 by 11 the c1 by c2 ok and here this is the equation the second pair of linear equation and for this second pair of linear equation you have to do yourself and you have to find the value of y and you have to find the order pair and you have to plot the uh, order pair in a graph and another graph you have to draw and that means you have to repeat the steps from 2 to 4 and again another pair of linear equation you have to take for example, it is given x minus 2y minus 5 equal to 0, 2x minus 4y minus 10 equal to 0 and here also for this one also you have to repeat the steps from 2 to 4 and you have to plot all the order pairs in a graph and you will find a different three graphs and again you have to in observation table you have to fill so in the first graph, in the second graph, in the third graph okay, in which cases a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 um, in, who, in intersecting cases what is happening in a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 in parallel cases what are a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 and whenever they are coincident what are a1 by a2, what are b1 by b2 and what are c1 by c2 ok so all the conditions for two lines you found like whenever they are intersecting or they are parallel or they are coincident and from there what you found what are the value of a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 Okay, after finding, you will observe in the first cases which one I have done. You have to do second case and third case. From the first case, we observed they are intersected, and during that time, you have seen a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. And when you will draw and you will find whenever two lines they are parallel, and you will find that a1 by a2 is not is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 and whenever two lines they in coincident coincident lines and they overlapping with each other during that time you will find a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and equal to c1 by c2 and this is the activity this is the activity for you you have to do you have to write in your record and from this activity you will get the out outcomes that is the learning outcomes you will learn that some pair of linear equations in two variables have a unique solution whenever they are intersecting lines and algebraically you can know that a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2
and some have infinitely many solutions during that time they coincident lines and algebraic condition you will see a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 and some have no solutions and they are parallel lines and in algebraic condition you will see that a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 thank you very much for watching this video i request you all please like subscribe and share science